Welcome to the Zoom Player Install Center tutorial. Zoom Player can use existing components on your system to play your major files, but it also comes with an install center which scans your computer for missing decoders and components and presents them to you for installation. To begin with, I will run the install center. I am now prompted to connect to the internet to retrieve the latest list of components available for download. I'll press OK. The list was quickly downloaded and now you are presented with a list of all available components and with components that are not currently installed, already checked and highlighted. As you can see from this dialog, it's split into multiple sections. You have the description section, you have the component selection section, you have the component configuration button showing the license button. This is our install button. Here we install all our selected components. Here you have the uninstall button in case you want to uninstall one of the components. And you have two options. You have a silent install, which means that you don't see the installation dialog of each component as it's installed. And you have the automatic configuration checkbox, which allows the install center to automatically configure each component for you. You can, you can use the manual configuration button to do this manually. For example, with FFT show, if I press the configure button, I can choose from several different FFD show configuration. Right now you can see the FFD show default, which is described here, but you can select this and read the description for this profile or this profile and here you can read the description and you can play, press OK to apply or cancel to ignore. The show license button shows the license of the, th the currently selected component. For example, you can see the FFD show license which is the, G the GNU general public license. As you can see I have two items that are currently not installed on the system. So they are already checked. All I need to do is click on the install selected. I'm now prompted to install the selected components which are listed here again. Pressing OK and we can see the installation progress as it works. The two compon components were downloaded and the installation is complete. You can click on any item and you can see if it's installed, which version is installed and if the latest version is currently installed. For example, I will uninstall the flash video component. And as you can see, it's highlighted. And when I click it, it says it's not installed. Since it's not installed, I don't really know the version. And we know that version 1.2908 is currently available for download. So again, I will just select it and install. Each component is verified using a checksum MD5, which allows us to ensure that the downloaded components were not compromised. This, this makes us safe that no one hacked the server and changed the component and replaced them with something nefarious. Once all our components are installed, we can close the install center and now we need to notify Zoom Player that it has new components that it can use. To do this, we open the player we open the options dialog. We go to the smart play section of the playback section. And we click on the auto configure button. Pressing OK will reset all our decoding configuration to use the components we just downloaded. This takes up to 2-3 seconds and we're done. Now we can click OK and we're ready to play any media files thrown at us. 
I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it very informative. See you next time.